Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing where this is going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait for this. You may have seen a couple of days ago I went and bought a Range Rover Sport SVR. I can't quite believe those words are coming out of my mouth. The perfect car to go alongside my Lamborghini Huracan. So now I have a Lamborghini Huracan as my supercar and to get from day to day, A to B, I have a Range Rover Sport SVR. I drove this car back from Redline Specialist Cars and it was all motorway miles. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to get a proper first drive and feel for it on sort of country roads and things like that. So I've come out to the middle of absolutely nowhere to do this because yes, I do live in London, but it's just not that fun driving from A to B in London. So I thought I want to get a proper feel for it. Hear that exhaust on this ridiculous car. It sounds amazing, looks amazing, it's not that clean because to get to this sort of destination where I am, I've uh, sort of gone a little bit sort of off-road, but that's all part of the fun, isn't it? If you haven't seen it already, this is my new Range Rover Sports SVR in the Estrol Blue, which the SVR, a lot of them come with. This is a colour which I went for. I'm very, very happy with it. It does look mega with the 22-inch wheels, which it has. This car is fully specced out. I'll give you a little tour in a minute, just so if people haven't seen it. I love it with all the tints and everything, but the blue is popping. It's not very clean, like I mentioned, but doesn't that just look absolutely mega? I'm obviously still taking it in that this is my daily driver, but I'm so happy with it. Just look at it sat there in this sort of environment. I think it's just sort of perfect. And uh, you can probably see on the back, it's got a 66 plate on it because the AH33 number plate, which I own myself, that has not gone through on a plate transfer and it is, well, it's illegal to drive a car when the plate transfer haven't gone, gone through yet. So it is on that plate for the next couple of weeks and then mine will be on. I even like little things like this, like the SVR just there. I want to show you this. If you haven't seen it, look. The deployable steps which it has, which they come out. And when you actually shut the car, it should go. They go back in like that and welcome aboard we are in the svr um i'll just put this down there um but look at this how nice is it in here with the sunroof which is an additional option so i've got the sunroof i've got these amazing seats in here guys look at that they are like the best part when i knew it had the seats like that i was like yes because the svr is very sort of iconic for these sort of seats um as well they're really really comfortable this car has all the carbon fiber down the side as well there's so much to take in with a new car that you're not quite sort of sure and i'm learning different things like on the way home when i was nearly home on the way back from when i collected it i worked out how to work out the cruise control and things like that so you do learn things the whole time love in the back as well just how much room is back here it's actually the first time i've probably looked in the back anyway what i think we should do enough waffling we should get in this svr and properly get driving it around these country roads and have a lot of fun this is going to be cool i cannot wait for this so let's jump in and drive this range over sport svr my range over sport svr mad let's go here we go it is time to drive my range over sport SVR and I am buzzing for this. It is just an animal. I love the feeling of just looking straight. I'm so high up and I've just like, look how much space I've got in here. I could literally like fall asleep. Um, fall asleep, what I want about, but you know what I mean. Um, it's just got that much room. It's just luxurious. That's probably one of the words. I've nailed it. Luxurious. Let's start it up. Start her up, baby. exhaust button now goes on little button down here you just press it on like that oh my <laughs> the noise I, I literally feel like I can't believe it it is one of the most ridiculous sounding cars ever and it's a SUV should we start I tell you what let's put the window down so you guys can hear right that's what I want to do. But listen to this. Right. <laughs> We're ready. Oh 
Oh my god. Wow! The noise! Listen! The pops and the bangs are utterly absurd. This car gives me the biggest smile on my face. It's chaos! And this is stock. We have to remember, this is stock. So can you imagine when I get started on this? I have a few plans, put it that way. I do have a few plans for this car. Anyway, let's get talking a little bit about the car and how it's sort of been sort of to live with for the first couple of days. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to back to drive and I'm gonna turn the exhaust button off, just like that and we can have a normal chat. And then at that point, the car is so sort of smooth to drive because I've not put it in dynamic. And then now look, listen, there's no noise. So you've got that ridiculous sound and then when you want it's off and that is what I wanted. I wanted something as a daily driver, which I could get from A to B with, but also have that mad experience. And the A45, I always bang on about it, but that's what I had with that car. And I was close to getting sort of the RS6 and things like that, but there was something about the SVR which just stood out so much. A lot of people were saying, well, Archie, why didn't you get a new one? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. Um, I got a 66 plate, which is like the facelift, they call it, um, because uh, we were looking for ages and the new ones, they are like 120,000 pounds new. And it's an unsafe market at the moment. It's not sort of settled. Where a 66 plate car, they've had their depreciation. This car has been owned before. It's had one owner before me and it's had its depreciation. So I've not taken that financial hit, which is quite nice. Let's talk about what this car is sort of like to drive around, let's say London. Well, obviously I went from Redline and then I went back to London. I had a brief drive through London before today. And it's a lot different to what I'm used to, put it that way. It's very, very different because you're going through little gaps. I'm still there going, oh, help, help me. Because it's just such a big car. We have to remember now, I'm not in sort of like a hatchback. I'm in a beast. These things are beasts, but yeah, they've just got presence. They really do. You turn up anywhere. And even before, before I got the chance to buy an SVR, ridiculous he was saying that, um, I see one, I'm like, who's in that? So I've just jumped out of the SVR and look at it just sat there. What I wanted to do is I wanted to pull over and just have a look at it and take it all in because I'm still taking this whole thing in and I wanted just to, you know, get out and just sort of, look at it. It's so good to drive. It's such an amazing experience. The upshifts, the noise, the smoothness, everything it's just one big experience and i think it's one of those things where it's amazed me it really has amazed me yes i drove one around london i got a feel for it and i was like yeah 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 svr i'm pretty sure that's the one but the more i've driven it on country roads and things like that it's just made me think i am so happy with my decision whatever way you look at it as well i just think on these country roads as well what more do you want that's perfect absolutely perfect for these sorts of roads we open the door the side step comes out just like that is a little bit dirty but you see what i mean when i was driving back from red line i had it in this mode this mode is dynamic mode you can see there it changes the dash uh to red and that's just like the mad mode i think um but i put it back to that one does it change there you go it does change the red kind of goes off one thing i've literally just realized is this there's like a little pouch you can put things in there. Never knew, never knew that <laughs> it was actually a thing. But yeah, let's get driving once again. What we have to remember with this is that this does 0 to 60 or 0 to 62 as people call it these days in 4.5 seconds. Let's just take that in. This is a massive car and 4.5 seconds is seriously quick. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I probably will be wrong. Um, around the Nürburgring, it's one of the fastest SUVs, I believe, around there, um, which I can totally believe. Because I've driven quite a few. I've driven the Bentley Bentayga. I've driven other things like that. And 
something with this, even the SQ7 and stuff, but something with this is it, it's the experience. When you pull away anywhere and you're just like, <laughs> I guess one of the downsides, and what I hope I don't witness, is that a lot of things I've read is that they're not the most reliable. Well, fingers crossed. I mean, that did come into my mind when I was purchasing um, an SVR, is that, you know, there's, sometimes they do have a few problems mechanically and stuff like that. Fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. I mean, I'm not exactly gonna take it around a circuit. Well, you know what, I might. Can you imagine doing a track day in an SVR? It'd be pretty baller. If it's going around quickly, around the Nürburgring, like doing those sorts of times, surely it'd be all right. Don't know. I've just, that's actually, just, actually just come into my head and I'm suddenly thinking, do I take this round a track? <laughs> the smile it gives me. <laughs> yes! Oh, oh! It's... time and the smile it's giving me I am so happy I own this it causes chaos and I know I've said chaos enough to <laughs> enough times but genuinely there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff coming up with this because it's not just a wicked car to get from A to B it's just an absolute animal in every single department it's just mad. It is absolutely mad. So I've just parked up the Range Rover Sport SVR and that rounds off what has been an incredible first proper drive with this car. Look how dirty it is. It is absolutely filthy. I'm not sure that's coming across on camera. It could go down that road flat out if you wanted to do in a country road or it could go around a track perfectly fine and it could cruise to London which I'm going to do very shortly fine as well. It looks good doesn't it? <laughs> it looks good doesn't it? Sat there. The AH number plate will be on there very shortly as well. I will be putting that on. Hopefully when the paperwork comes through it'll be on there in the next couple of weeks. Anyway I hope you have enjoyed this first drive video. I really have. Thank you all so much for the amazing comments as well that you've given me. It's going to be a lot of stuff coming up like I mentioned. If there's anything you want to see coming up just put it in the comment section. I do read all the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do and see what I can make possible. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all very soon.